The wide variety of flavorful offerings at a Giants game are just like the Bay Area itself, unique and diverse. And cooking great food for large groups of people is an art. Former Google executive chef Charlie Ayers knows this well. He now runs the Calafia Cafe and Market in Palo Alto and helped us with a menu to bring a taste of the ballpark home, starting with a bona fide local favorite. Every time I go to the ballpark, first thing I think of is getting myself a nice cold beer and a big basket of hot, savory garlic fries. We want to start out with some nice, fresh, flat leaf Italian parsley. What I've made today is our own spice blend to go over our garlic fries. Our spice blend has some smoked paprika, brown sugar, kosher salt, a little mustard powder, and black pepper. You want to cook your, your french fries in very hot oil, around 375 degrees. At the restaurant, we have industrial fryers. I don't expect you to have this at home. You can buy great small fryers that are about a one to two gallon capacity. So you can still make great fried foods at home. We blanch them in the hot oil for a few moments, remove the moisture, then we drop them again. The end result is a beautiful crispy french fry. Add some of our all-purpose seasoning. The smoked paprika really adds a great dimension to the fries. Some fresh garlic and some chopped parsley. And we're going to mix that around. And that's it. This is garlic fries. It's that simple. But we can't stop there. A nice salad or two can only help make it a game-watching party. So Charlie offers up a couple of ideas. We start off with a grain that is called quinoa that comes from Central America. It's complete protein. After we've steamed the quinoa, we fluff it. Then we add some of our diced beets. Some diced celery. Mix all that together. So if you happen to have some vegetarians over at your house for the ball game, they don't have to eat hot dogs or hamburgers or veggie burgers. They can have this wonderful crimson quinoa salad. After that, he showed us a killer udon noodle salad with shiitake mushrooms. Delicious, but still a little bit left field for those wondering, where's the beef? So here's a couple more options. We have a beautiful beef tenderloin that I've par roasted and seared, cooked to a nice medium doneness. We're going to make a classic Mexican beef torta today. So we've got five nice thick slices here. So we line the bottom of our bread with the beef. Then we add sliced tomatoes. We have avocado and cheese and place it onto a panini press. If you don't have a panini press at home, you can do it right in the pan like you're making a grilled cheese. While the sandwich is heating in the press, I'm going to show you how to make another dish that we serve here at the restaurant. It's called our jalapeno jicama slaw. It's a variation on a classic coleslaw, but I like to use jicama in there. It adds a whole other dimension, a little bit more crunch to it. Then we add a creamy dressing that we make here at the restaurant as well. It has a couple secret ingredients, but the key to a great coleslaw dressing is pineapple juice. Certainly a nice compliment, while the final item crossing the dish is both healthy and full of flavor. The last dish that we're making today is a shaken beef salad. I like to serve it over a nice, crisp, refreshing salad of wild arugula, some shaved fennel. I like to add mint into the salad, a little rice wine vinaigrette. You can cook it to any doneness degree that you like. I like to serve my beef rare, so it's going to have some really great flavor. Thanks for visiting us at Calafia today. This is just the start of some of the great foods that you can make at home while watching the ball game. Enjoy.